I'm the Science Curriculum Facilitator for Pooter School District, and I'm here at Covenant Heights in Estes Park with fifth grade McGrath students for their Eco Week. You have like 10 to 15 minutes at each station. That's the temperature. One of the great things about Eco Week for our fifth graders is that they really get a chance to experience learning outside of the classroom and know that learning takes place everywhere. And one of the things we're doing here specifically is addressing an Earth System Science standard that deals with weather and climate. And one of the things yesterday when we were talking about weather and climate, we had fairly cloudy day, but the weather was pretty even. And as you can see, overnight it changed on us which in some cases, that might hinder some learning. In our case, it totally enhanced the learning because now we actually had some weather to experience and talk about and really bring learning to life for our students. Part of our wellness standards are that students handle conflict and make choices constructively. Uh, and so some of those Adventure activities require them to go outside of their comfort zone. They're asked to do activities by choice, uh, so they push themselves as far as they are capable of, and we just ask them to go a little bit further than they uh, normally would. So some students it's just climbing up maybe 10 feet, and some students it's uh, going upside down and you know hanging in the air. This is your seat harness. It's the first thing you want to put on, okay? Looks like a pair of pants. Wear it like a pair of pants. Okay, black boots around your face. When I got on the zip line, uh, it was I was nervous at, at first, but um, after I started going, I realized that I was all strapped in and that it was really f um, fun and exciting, and the view was really pretty. Well, I needed to work with others, and how they helped me on their high ropes course. Um, they would cheer me on and. It made me feel inspired. The zip line, it turned out to be really awesome. And just the feeling of, of being free, like, it was absolutely phenomenal. And it's gonna catch and start building up. Now, from this point, we're gonna get our twigs, right? For the survival, we had to try to make a fire and uh, if we had to pick 16 items to bring on a survival trip, which ones we would pick? We get to see wildlife in action. We get to see real animals. We get to take hikes. We're actually doing those things instead of just talking about them or watching interactive multimedia in the classroom. So we're hands-on and using inquiry to further and deepen our understandings. It's all rolled around and twisted and made this point, which is why it's called drag. The fact that the kids were, quote, unplugged for the, for the three days we were there, um, not relying on their screens um, to fill their time, was so valuable. It really opens their eyes to what we should be looking at all around us anyway. But just having that face-to-face -face communication with each other, with um, people that they might not normally be in class with, and just using the social skills that we've hoped we've taught them. My hope is that, that our school con continues to let us afford you know, the students the opportunity to go into the woods for um, three days and two nights. It's something that previous students always come back and say was the one thing that they do remember from elementary school and we just want to continue to foster that love of nature and that love of being outdoors, especially in Colorado um, where we you know, live where everyone else wants to be all of the time. That's what fifth graders look forward to, Eco Week. That is fifth grade because it's something they'll never forget. Mm -hmm.